Fist Forged in Shadow Torch is a 3D Metroidvania action platformer. You play as a rabbit with mechanical enhancements, which allow you to switch between weapons and string together different combos in order to defeat your enemies. I'm Eric, I'm a game designer, and today I want to review the game design of Fist, discuss the world design, level design, and take a closer look at the combat system. The combat system of Fist has a simple premise. You can light attack, heavy attack, or grab enemies. By combining these different elements, you can create different combinations. But there's hidden depth behind the system. You can switch out your weapons mid-combo to chain together a different string of attacks. Or you change the input mid-air in order to launch yourself downwards instead. There are a lot of options to explore the intricacies of the combat system. And most importantly, there can be the sense of mastery the more familiar you become with it. The more you learn, the more satisfying combos you can pull off. In this regard, it's quite similar to Smash Bros. The game provides an easily accessible entry point for new players, but will truly reward those who are willing to dive deeper into the combat system. What Fizz does so well is still make the gameplay satisfying, even though you might not be able to fully grasp it yet. And they primarily pull this off through impact, making your moves feel meaningful, giving your hits a sense of power and damage. A lot of different elements work towards enhancing the sensation. For instance, the fact that you can stagger enemies the moment they were about to attack you. You can interrupt their attack by attacking yourself. Additionally, enemies will ragdoll the moment you hit them with the final blow of your combination to express the severe impact of your hits. Furthermore, enemies slightly light up every time you hit them, gaining a subtle orange hue to indicate to you that you've hit them. This does not only communicate the success of your move, it makes what you just did feel even better. Seeing a couple of enemies turn into a light show when you continuously hit them with your chainsaw is an immediate feedback mechanism which makes it feel so much more impactful. This, in combination with the sound design, provides so much feedback on your actions that you're enticed to keep on hitting people. They want you to smash, they want you to attack, because the more you do it, the better you become at it. It is a cycle. The more you attack, the more you learn, the more satisfying the combat will become. Fist wants you to explore the possibilities of the combat system, but it also wants you to explore its world by giving you different pathways to success. You have the opportunity to explore every nook and cranny of the world, finding collectibles and secrets. It is almost parallel to how the combat system works. If you are willing to invest time and effort, you will be rewarded. They are indirectly teaching you this with the level design. They are trying to push you and motivate you to explore the possibilities in combat by providing positive reinforcement for exploration in the world. A lot of side-scrolling games, including elements of combat and platforming, are usually 2D, but Fist breaks this convention. It is fully 3D, and what this does is add so much depth and sense of scale to the experience. Observing the city in the background from so many different angles and perspectives makes it feel impressive, but also makes it feel more immersive. You're part of this world. The levels and combat encounters don't feel disconnected from the world, because everything seamlessly transitions from one place to another, which makes it feel like a more cohesive experience. Since this discussion is based on the demo version of Fist, it is noticeable there's still some polish left to be done. The environments don't quite stand out yet because of the muted lighting, and there are probably going to be some level adjustments based on player input. Nevertheless, Fist has an incredibly potent foundation. Combat is mechanically interesting, providing the player with opportunities to explore all the possibilities. The game is clever about guiding you through this, with a variety of setups within the environment, with different configurations of enemies, in addition to unique enemies, which challenge you to adjust your approach and force you into trying out new moves. Everything you do will be rewarded through sound, animation and visual effects. The more you play Fist, the more satisfying the satisfying combat will be. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Game Designer Plays. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you back in my next video. See you there. Bye-bye.